Hello everyone, happy Thursday. It is Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a great day so far and are ready for one more final candle review tonight. So if you missed it from earlier, I did a review this morning on Woodland Wonderland from Homeworks, then did in the afternoon a review of Snowcap Fraser from Kringle. Definitely go check those two out if you did miss them. And now we are talking about Balsam Fur from Kringle. So um, I touched on this a lot in the last candle review from this afternoon on Snowcap Fraser. Definitely go check that one out if you did miss it because it's going to have a lot of good information about um, this one as well that's going to kind of make sense. Um, but if you already watched it, you can go ahead and skip ahead um, because I am just going to do a quick recap on what's going on with the three wicks. So this one and the one from earlier that I reviewed are in the soy blend. So Kringle has now switched over the three wicks to the new 100% soy and it is the same wax that is in the Kringle jars, um, like the two wicks and um, it's that really nice flawless burn and um, very clean burn. So that same wax is being implemented into the three wick and of course coming with the third wick, it's gonna add some strength and throw to it and it's just gonna make uh, the three wick better. There's definitely some performance issues with the soy blend, which I'll touch on later and I touched on a little bit in the last video, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to more of the 100% soy three wicks to come. They've already released a few. I'm hoping all of the new spring ones will be in the 100% soy three wick. I'm sure they will. And um, hopefully they'll bring some of the like spring classics in the 100% soy three wicks because that's what they did for the holiday time. But I think that it's going to take a little bit of time for the like normal sense just to be switched over to the 100% soy because the old formula, which is the soy blend, has to get sold out first. Um, they are all on sale for $10.20 right now. So it is a really great deal if you want to get them and you like the performance. Um, I actually wouldn't mind picking up a few myself of just some of the favorite scents that I like just to have for croc because while these aren't gonna perform great for me while I'm burning, I can crock them and still get some good strength and throw out of them. And um, I actually may do that because Kringle's actually having a lot of good deals going on right now. They have a, their own semi-annual sale going on right now. So definitely go check it out if you are interested. Um, I'll link them down below if you are interested. But um, that's kind of some background information on the Three Wicks. And by the way, if you are a fan of the Country Candle line and you prefer paraffin over soy wax, this scent is offered in the Country Candle line. Um, I looked at the notes and they are the same on both the soy and the paraffin, but I have not yet tried the paraffin, so don't take my word for it. Um, I'm not sure, but I do believe that they're the same scent just because they are the same notes. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the review here, starting with our scent description and notes. So the description says balsam fir. Balsam is the traditional tree of Christmas, and our goal was a true, botanically accurate woodland fragrance invoking cold winter air and fresh-cut boughs. Bows, sorry. <laughs> we believe we've really hit the mark. Your top notes are eucalyptus and fresh balsam. Your mid notes are green, musk, and your base notes are pine and sweet wood. So, I really do like the scent, and... um. I talked about Snowcap Fraser. I really love Snowcap Fraser from earlier just because it's a really nice blend of a traditional Christmas tree scent. Of course, you know, you have those traditional notes like balsam, fir, pine, Fraser, notes like that. But then it had a really nice blend of kind of like a greenery, fresher scent to it, kind of like a cleaner scent, I guess, and like kind of more on the spring side where in comparison, I feel like this one, the balsam fir is definitely more straight to the tree and it really doesn't have any of those like, like I guess it is, it is fresh in its own way, but it doesn't really have any floral to it or any like spring to it. 
I feel like this one would be really good for a snowy day, but that's where I would stop it, like a cold winter day or like around Christmas time. But I feel like this doesn't really have that springiness that I get from the Snowcap Frasier. I wouldn't consider Snowcap Frasier as a spring scent, but I think that it's just more for later on, like maybe in February or March. But I do think that balsam fir is a lot more straight to the Christmas tree. It's definitely got those classic notes. You've got the balsam, you have the pine, you have the woodiness. There's a little bit of like eucalyptus in there and it gives it kind of like a minty smell, but I don't think that it's too overpowering. Um, but this is definitely a very authentic Christmas tree scent. And I know it's a little late now that Christmas is over, but if you still love the tree ones, this is definitely one that I would consider picking up because it's very authentic and it really does get straight to that tree and doesn't have too many of those like extra notes in there. It's just very balsam, very fur, and does smell like a pretty authentic Christmas tree. This is one that I think I would consider picking up again. Um, I don't love the performance with the soy blend, which I'll talk about in a second, but I do like the scent and Again, if you are a tree fan, then you should definitely pick this one up. I know that there are a lot of people who aren't seasonal burners and will literally burn tree scents and balsam throughout the year. Personally, can't do that. I pretty much cut myself off after January. Like January, I can still burn tree scents, but I get to a point where I need floral and like fresh and citrusy scents for like the spring. So I don't burn fur and like Christmas tree scents all year round, but I know that there are a lot of people that do that. I actually know some people that do that, but um, if you are that person, then this is definitely one that you're gonna wanna pick up. And actually, this is a great time to pick those Christmas tree scents up because you're gonna wanna take advantage of that semi-annual sale and the after Christmas sales. But anyways, let's get into the performance now. Um, so I talked a lot about this in the last review. This um, The major problem for me is this is just not as clean as a burn as the 100% um, the soy is. You guys have seen my reviews on the 100% soy. There's no sooting. There's no wax discoloration. It's just a really nice clean burn. You can burn them for hours and hours and they won't soot, they won't discolor, and they really just are flawless. And I would wanna say perfect. Of course, every company has flaws, um, but I really do feel like the Kringle Soy is really, really close to perfect. Um, for these candles, the Soy Blend, they are definitely on the dirtier end. Um, not too much soot up here to show you guys. I've definitely seen ones that have had a lot of soot on the top rim here, but the main problem for me is just like a dirtier wax. Um, I'll actually show you guys. There's just a little bit of dirtiness in that wax, as you can see. It's probably just like wick residue, but it's definitely not nice to look at that and then go, wow, that's what I'm breathing in when I have this lit. And then also a big problem for me with these are wax discoloration. So you can't really see it here now that it's burning, but the wax is originally supposed to be like a white clean wax. And unfortunately when you burn these, they get to more of like a dirtier, kind of yellowish, almost brown color. And it's really not the nicest to look at. And it's definitely not nice to think, oh no, that's what's going into the air and that's what's going on my walls. So it's kind of hard, but I definitely do prefer the 100% soy. I never have issues. I think I've had one candle in the 100% soy that was sooty on me, and that was the only time I had a bad experience with them. They do have a bit of a weaker throw, and I would like more throw on the 100% soy, but that's the only problem I have with them. But they never discolor, and they really don't have any like wax issues to them. So that is kind of my issues with the soy blend. Also, you can see the wicks are actually doing well for me. They are on the punier side, but they're not, I would say, puny yet. Um, they are kind of like little nubs, and I don't trim them really unless they have like mushroom heads on them, which they don't because I, I haven't trimmed them once. Because if you do trim them, then they will definitely become puny and they will blow themselves out, and I've had them do that to themselves and then I just have to stick it right in the crock and that's just a pain to do that. But 
Unfortunately, that's what's going to happen when these wicks do get too puny. But that is the performance for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you guys have had balsam fir and let me know your thoughts on it. Did you have a good experience with the soy blend and did you like the scent? Definitely sound off in the comments. Again, thanks so much for watching you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I really would appreciate it. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for a brand new video. See you guys then. Bye.